Happy, happy Sabbath, queens. All praises, honor, and glory to our Father. Thank you, Father Yah, in the name of Yahasha. We are so grateful and thankful for your glorious, wonderful, beautiful, magnificent Sabbath day. And so happy to be in it. Thank you, Father Yah. And with that being said, y'all, we gonna jump right into it because we just gotta bring it right on out today. Come on, y'all. Hey, yo, Philly, can we gather in your city? Royal family, keep it litty. For the Father, gather quickly. When the summer, spring, fall. For the most, I do it all. Get it together. We coming in any weather. Every season, there's a reason to praise them and please them. Now's the time. We gotta obey. Love them and praise them and worship. Gather love righteously. Do our reasonable service. Today's topic, Daughter of Zion. A.K.A. Israel, A.K.A. Jacob, A.K.A. Sons and Daughters, the Children of Israel Collectively, which in scripture is likened to a woman, just like wisdom. When the scriptures refer to, to wisdom, they use it in a female vernacular and The daughter of Zion is used in a female vernacular because she is a lot of times compared to a woman who travaileth, a woman who needs to be delivered or have deliverance and will be delivered, as we'll see. When the father makes a promise to his chosen people, he delivers, (laughs) Um, as he did in, in Deuteronomy 28, what he told us that what we what he would do if we kept his commandments or if we did not. And this is what we're about to pull. I'm actually about to do a reading of Jeremiah 6, which is the moment when he says, okay, huh, y'all want to play. Here you go. About to throw this judgment on y'all. So stop playing with me. Jeremiah 6. Jeremiah chapter 6. O ye children of Benjamin, 
gather yourselves to flee out of the midst of Jerusalem and blow the trumpet in Tekoa and set up a sign of fire in Beth Hasirim. For evil appeareth out of the north and great destruction. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. The shepherds with their flocks shall come unto her. They shall pitch their tents against her round about. They shall feed every one in his place. Prepare ye war against her. Arise and let us go up at noon. Woe unto us, for the day goeth away. For the shadows of the evening are stretched out. Arise and let us go by night, and let us destroy her palaces. For thus have the Lord of hosts said, Hew ye down trees, and cast a mount against Jerusalem. This is the city to be visited. She is holy oppression in the midst of her. As a fountain casteth out her waters, so she casteth out her wickedness. Violence and spoil is heard in her. Before me continually is grief and wounds. Be thou instructed, O Jerusalem. Let my soul depart from thee, lest I make thee desolate. A land not inhabited. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall thoroughly glean the remnant of Israel as a vine. Turn back thy hand as a great gatherer into the baskets. To whom shall I speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ear is uncircumcised, uncircumcised and they cannot hearken. Behold, the word of the Lord is unto them a reproach. They have no delight in it. Therefore, I am full of fury of the Lord. I am weary with holding in. I will pour out upon the children abroad and upon the assembly of young men together. For even the husband with the wife shall be taken, the aged with him, that is full of days and their houses shall be turned unto others and their fields and wives together for i will stretch out my hand upon the inhabitants of the land saith the lord for from the least of them even unto the greatest of them every one is given to covetous covetousness and from the prophet even unto the priest every one dealeth falsely they have healed also the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly saying peace peace when there is no peace were they ashamed when they had committed abomination nay they were not at all ashamed neither could they blush therefore they shall fall among them that fall at the time that i visit them they shall be cast down saith the lord thus saith the lord stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths where is the good way and walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls but they said, We will not walk therein. Also, I set watchmen over you, saying, Hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not hearken. Therefore, hear, ye nations, and know, O congregation, what is among them. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected it. To what purpose 
cometh there to me incense from Sheba, and the sweet cane from a far country. Your burnt offerings are not acceptable, nor your sacrifices sweet unto me. Therefore, saith the Lord, behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before this people, as the fathers and the sons together shall fall upon them. The neighbor and his friend shall perish. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, a people cometh from the north country, and a great nation shall be raised from the sides of the earth. They shall lay hold on bow and spear. They are cruel and have no mercy. Their voice roareth like the sea, and they ride upon horses, set in array as men for war against thee, O daughter of Zion. We have heard the fame thereof. Our hands wax feeble. Anguish hath taken hold of us, and pain as of a woman in travail. Go not forth into the field, nor walk by the way, for the sword of the enemy and fear is on every side. O daughter of my people, gird thee with sackcloth, and wallow thyself in ashes. Make thee mourning, as for an only son, most bitter lamentation, for the spoiler shall suddenly come upon us. I have set thee for a tower and a fortress among my people, that thou mayest know and try their way. They are all grievous revolters, walking with slanders. They are brass and iron. They are all corruptors. The bellows are burned. The lead is consumed of the fire. The founder melteth in vain, for the wicked are not plucked away. Reprobate silver shall men call them, because the Lord hath rejected them. Jeremiah sixteen, ten through 15 And it shall come to pass, when thou shalt show this people all these words, and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore hath the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? Or what is our iniquity? Like, what did we do? Or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our God? Then shalt thou say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me, saith the Lord, and have walked after other gods, and have served them, and have worshipped them, and have forsaken me, and have not kept my law. And ye have done worse than your fathers, for behold, ye walk every one after the imagination of his evil heart, that they may not hearken unto me. Therefore will I cast out of this land into a land that ye know not, neither ye nor your fathers. And there shall ye serve other gods day and night, where I will not show you favor. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north and from all the lands whither he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. All praises, honor, and glory to the Father. He literally just dished out a, a butt whooping and a blessing <laughs> all in two verses. Did y'all see it? 
when he when he talked about this and we done brought this out before that they gonna forget all about Egypt they gonna forget about Pharaoh and all that stuff when they the way he bring us up out the north okay that is going to be what will be remembered from there on out they gonna forget about Egypt okay but but the father is saying in the same instance that what you about to go through what you about to deal with because you have sinned against me guess what guess what it's going to be epic you have epic suffering epic repercussions from not doing my commandments from going against my word it will be epic when I deliver you from this one. All oh, praises, honor, and glory to our Father. Lamentations chapter 2 verse 1. How hath the Lord covered the daughter of Zion with a cloud in his anger and cast down from heaven unto the earth the beauty of Israel? And remembered not his footstool in the day of his anger. Basically asking, how can the father forget about his chosen people? How could he not remember them and be so angry with them? Because they broke the covenant. They sinned against him. Lamentations chapter 2 verse 2. The Lord hath swallowed up all the habitations of Jacob and have not pitied. He hath thrown down in his wrath the strongholds of the daughter of Judah. He hath brought them down to the ground. He hath polluted the kingdom and the princes thereof. The father is about his word. When he says something he means it and it stands forever you break his commandments you get the curses lamentations chapter 2 verses 3 and 4 he hath cut off in his fierce anger all the horn of israel he hath drawn back his right hand from before the enemy and he burned against Jacob like a flaming fire which devour which devoureth round about he hath bent his bow like an enemy he stood with his right hand as an adversary and slew all that were pleasant to the eye in the tabernacle of the daughter of Zion he poured out his fury like fire <laughs> He ain't playing when we are in these unrighteous states, when we commit these iniquities. He just is so furious with us and he will chastise us. He will make us pay when we are not doing what he wants us to do, which is what we should be doing. Abiding in righteousness, abiding in his commandments, all praises Honor and glory to the Father. Hallelujah. Lamentations chapter 2 verse 5. The Lord was as an enemy. He hath swallowed up Israel. He hath swallowed up all her palaces. He hath destroyed his strongholds and hath increased in the daughter of Judah. Mourning and lamentation. Lamentations 4, verse 22. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. O daughter of Zion, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity. O daughter of Edom, he will discover thy sins. All praises, honor and glory to the Father. And that one right there is really the father showing us his punishment upon us is done. 
It is accomplished. Those who, who he used to carry us away into captivity and do all those things to us, our enemies. Oh, oh, he going to visit them. They going to get theirs. Don't even worry. Like he said, he will discover the sins of the daughter of Edom, who is the nation of people who brought us into captivity, who've had us in captivity. And everybody will receive their just punishments all the way around. We receive it for disobeying the father and they'll receive it for the things that they've done to his people. Everybody pays. Micah chapter four, verse 10, be in pain and labor to bring forth O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail, for now shalt thou go shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt go even to Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies, all praises, honor, and glory to the Father. Daughter of Zion, Israel, we have to be here. We have to be in Babylon because this is where the Father is going to redeem us from. All praises, honor, and glory to the Father for his deliverance. Zechariah chapter 2. I lifted up mine eyes again and looked and behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand. Then I said, whither thou, whither goest thou? And he said unto me to measure Jerusalem, to see what is the breadth thereof and what is the length thereof. And behold, the angel that talked with me went forth and another angel went out to meet him and said unto him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls for the multitude of men and cattle therein. For I, saith the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire around, round about and will be the glory in the midst of her. Ho, ho, come forth and flee from the land of the north, saith the Lord. For I have spread you abroad as the four winds of heaven, saith the Lord. Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellest with the daughter of Babylon. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory have sent me unto the nations which spoiled you. For he that toucheth you, toucheth the apple of his eye. For behold, I will shake mine hand upon them, and they shall be a spoil to their servants. And ye shall know that the Lord of hosts hath sent me. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for lo, I come, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, saith the Lord. And many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day, and shall be my people, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, that thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts hath sent me unto thee. And the Lord shall in Inherit Judah, his portion in the Holy Land, and shall choose Jerusalem again. Be silent, O all flesh, before the Lord, for he is raised up out of his holy habitation. Isaiah chapter 62, verses 11 and 12. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world, say ye to the daughter of Zion, 
Behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him and his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, the redeemed of Father Yah. And thou shalt be called, sought out, a city not forsaken. All praises, honor, and glory to the Father. That's his promise right there. Even like before, when he put that promise in there at the end, after he said all the stuff that we was going to go through, he, he threw that promise in there on the end. This is the promise. You do what's right. You keep his commandments. In the end, you will be redeemed. In the end, you will be saved, O daughter of Zion, O Israel. Rael, O Jerusalem, O daughters of Judah, you will be redeemed. Keep his commandments. Keep his law. Your redemption is coming. As it says, thy salvation cometh. All praises, honor and glory to the Father. Our redemption is certainly near. And with that being said, I wanted to remind everyone about the meeting that we scheduled for Sunday. Um, we came together in the Royal Queens Coalition and decided on some dates and times. And this will be the initial one. And we'll be in there just um, trying to figure out like how often we're going to do it. We're going to do introductions, um, bring out some favorite scripts, and then, you know, open the floor to whatever you guys want to talk about. So I'm excited about it. And I will see you guys there. And with that being said, the link is in the description. And with that being said... Happy, happy Sabbath, queens. All oh, praises. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Father Yah, in the name of your son, Yahushai, for your word coming out today on this beautiful, wonderful, glorious Shabbat. Thank you, Father Yah. I am just so grateful and thankful for every single day, hour, minute, week, Shabbat, season, year, every single moment, all praises, honor, and glory to the Father. And I pray that you all have a wonderful, wonderful, magnificent Shabbat. And with that being said, Y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the Royal Queen's Roll Call.
Oh